This portrait drawing course from Vitruvian Studio covers the process of creating one portrait from start to finish. And it goes into depth on every single step. And so with this series of videos, I just want to cover my experience with the process. But if you're interested in the course after looking at my videos, I definitely recommend subscribing to the course for yourself. The videos are available online and you can watch them at your own pace and the instructor does a great job of explaining every step. I won't be able to explain every step of what I'm doing here, and I've sped it up quite a bit, but the actual video course that the instructor provides goes through every step in real time. Now, what I'm doing here at the very beginning is just starting with the very basic uh, dimensions of the outer bounds of the portrait, the very top of the head to the bottom of the chin, the farthest left point, the farthest right point, and then just roughing in some of the basic outlines of the portrait. And like in the Drawing Basics course that Vitruvian Studio also offers, the technique that you're going to use the most here at the very beginning is triangulation, where you triangulate from two different points, two different angles to find the correct uh, coordinates for different spots on the drawing. So you use that triangulation to spot where the chin is in relation to the top of the head, where the bottom of the ear is in relation to the bottom of the chin, and all these different triangulation points, they help to get your proportions more correct than you can with just uh, something like uh, measuring, because uh, rough measurements using a, a basic unit like a pencil or something like that, it can get you close, but triangulation can get you much closer. So once you've got the basic outlines of the form established on the paper, the course guides you through trying to cite the proper positions for the different key features of the face and the head. So this is really important that before you start getting into the details of drawing the uh, fine lines for all of the things like the ears and the nose and the eye, um, you've got to first correctly locate them on the face because if you draw a really detailed excellent eye but it's in the wrong spot on the face the portrait is going to look strange so the course spends a lot of time instructing on how to get that location of the various features correct and one of the big keys there is to start with a center line down the center of the face and then working from that establishing some cross marks that will give you lines for where the bottom of the mouth will be, where the bottom of the nose would be, where the eyes will be. And so you're roughing this in and as you're establishing things, you're also erasing things as you go. So none of this is permanent and none of this is going to be the final state of the drawing, but it's an important in intermediate step to make sure that you've got everything located correctly and then you revise and revise over time until you eventually end up with what you're going for. But you can't just start from scratch and do the final product. You've got to build it up gradually. And I was also impressed by how much knowledge of anatomy the instructor seems to have and how that seems to play an important role in knowing how to structure the face, like knowing what the actual... Uh, muscles and bones and different features are, are called and how they relate to one another on an actual human body that helps you to identify what you're drawing and, and how those would relate to each other. So it's a little bit more complicated than just seeing what you draw. You have to also kind of know what you're drawing and how it relates to your understanding of how the human face is put together. So the instructor does a great job of explaining that and as I was working through this, it's really hard to fight the temptation to just start drawing the eye without uh, getting it located cor correctly. So all of this that I'm doing right now, like around the eye, that's not the eye itself. It's just kind of establishing like the eye socket and the basic, basic uh, muscles and things that are arranged around the eye. And the same thing with the nose and the mouth. I'm trying to get them in the right spot and trying to get the basic outlines of them correct, but the actual details, I, I guess those have to wait until a later stage in the drawing. 
Now, in the course, you're working from a photo that they provide of this bottle. And so you have a static photo that you're working from, but the instructor himself, he appeared to be drawing from life, like the bottle was sitting there in front of him. But um, using that photo that they provide to you, you can uh, um, pull it up on a screen and, and zoom in on different details. And that's helpful to pick out the different uh, abstract shapes that are formed by the shadows and things. Like you can see on the chin here, there's some uh, strange shapes that you don't really think about, but once you pay closer attention to them, um, they're really essential to establish a three-dimensional shape here. So throughout this drawing, you'll see that I, I draw something and I kind of establish the lines, but then I have to measure and check again and erase and redraw. And this was particularly true with the ear. I drew and redrew the ear so many different times because I am really not used to the process of getting the ear angled correctly, getting it sized correctly, and it just seemed like I was making the ear huge, and I had to keep rechecking against the reference picture to see what I was doing wrong, and uh, I'm still not 100% satisfied with where I ended up, but over time, just a process of drawing and erasing and sort of revising, I think it got a little better. Same thing with like the neck. Uh, that establishing where the neck sort of runs up behind the ear and how it slopes down toward the shoulder. Same thing with the jawline. Now, the instructor also mentions that there's a need to establish different sort of markings that aren't going to be final markings, but that set out where the different uh, shades are going to emerge from one to another to kind of make the form look rounded. Once you've got these basic lines on there, the, the, the next lesson sort of moves you into establishing the shadows. And you first knock back the drawing by taking a kneaded eraser and rubbing that lightly over the entire drawing to lighten up all of the different marks that you've made so far so that they don't feel quite so permanent and quite so imposing. And then you go back and establish these shaded areas because even though you're going to be spending a lot more time in future lessons getting the transitions and the shades and the values of those shades precise, right now you just need to demarcate where they begin and where they end. Like what parts of the head are facing toward the light and which parts are facing away. And once you have those boundary lines established, that helps a lot with uh, a lot of the other future steps with um, the tonal values moving from light, lightest light to darkest dark. The transitions can be tricky, especially in parts like the hair. And this was also something that I know that I have found intimidating in the other times that I've attempted to draw a head is that <laughs> the hair is is tricky and there's a temptation to try and draw individual strands of hair but here the technique is rather to focus on masses and the instructor talks a lot about trying to use an almost sculptural technique where you're carving away masses in large chunks and then you make finer and finer gradations as you move along rather than trying to draw individual hairs you think of the hair as a grouping of various masses that are in light and in shade. Finally, this last step here on this lesson is to take a brush and kind of blend all of these shadowy areas to soften them up a bit. And in subsequent videos, I'm going to move the drawing through to completion and see how it all turns out. And I'm hoping that it turns out okay.